Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's take a look at the quotient rule. So here we have the log of 25 divided by x squared, and here we have the log of i divided by i sub naught, all of it raised to the 10 power. And I left my circles on there, so let me get rid of these circles. In case you're wondering, that's how we focus the camera. And I usually erase them, but I forgot to do it this time. All right, so here we have the rule that says if we take the log of a quotient, we take the log of the numerator minus the log of the denominator. So this can be written as the log of 25 minus the log of x squared. And then remember the power rule, which is not part of our example here, but we might as well do it. The 2 up here can actually come in front, and so this can be written as the log of 25 minus 2 times the log of x. Over here, what we could do, there's various things we could do. We could first actually take the 10 and move it in front, but we can also do the following. We say this is equal to the log of i to the 10 power divided by i sub naught to the 10 power. And now we have clearly a quotient, so this is equal to uh, the log of the numerator, which is i to the 10 power, minus the log of the denominator, which is i sub naught to the 10 power. And of course, we could move the tens now in the front. That's called the power rule. So this can be written as 10 times the log of i minus 10 times the log of i sub naught. And then we could factor out the 10. And then this would look like 10 times the log of i minus the log of i sub naught. And notice that if we had first taking the 10 and moved in front, we can actually make it look like this. This is the same as 10, I'll write it like this, 10 times the log of i divided by i sub naught, simply by using the power rule and moving the 10 in front. And then this can be written as 10 times the log of i minus the log of i sub naught. And notice that we get the exact same answer. I use brackets here, I use parentheses there, it doesn't matter. It's the same result. And notice that that's how we use the quotient rule. And of course, we threw in a bit of the power rule as well. And that is how it's done.